Are you looking for the best panini presses? In this video, we will look at some of the three best panini presses on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Cuisinart Griddler Grill, Griddle and Amp, Panini Press. The Cuisinart is a well-priced, reliable, do-it-all panini press. It can, of course, act as a sandwich smasher, applying pressure from the top and emanating heat from both sides. Then, if you want to turn it into one big grill or flat top, you simply press a button on the side that fully releases the hinge. It has removable non-stick cooking plates, allowing you to choose from grooved or flat depending on what you're cooking. Either way, this makes them easy to clean. That, I think, is the big benefit of this press, says Kathy Straz, author of the blog Panini Happy. It gives you more flexibility and options than just a press. And, she says, it has many applications that can make your life easier, such as grilling meats and vegetables or crisping up quesadillas, that don't require flipping because you get heat from the top and bottom. Writer and cookbook author Patricia Wells uses the Cuisinart for indoor grilling and making toast. I have given away all my toasters, she says. I always felt that toasters just dried out the bread, but the panini press allows it to maintain its moisture. I also love the grill marks. When I tested the machine myself, I appreciated the variation in heat levels. Cheaper models tend to simply turn on and off, but this one allows for low heat, helpful when grilling a thicker sandwich, when you want to make sure the inside becomes hot before the bread gets too dark, as well as medium and high, which both worked well for simple grilled cheeses. The bread got lighter golden brown and darker golden brown, respectively, by the time the cheese was done melting. It also has a warm setting I used when I left half a panini out for a while and wanted to remelt the cheese without retoasting the bread. Max Blatchman Gentile, director of culinary operations at Tartine, used a slightly higher-end version to test a lot of the menu items they sell at the cafe and even put it to use in the shop for a while, it eventually wore down churning out 40-plus sandwiches a day, but that shouldn't be a concern at home. The major difference between this one and the cheaper model above is how exact the temperature gets. This one lets you select the specific degree you want each plate to reach, while the other has only low, medium, high, and warm settings for the panini function and comes with degrees in intervals of 50 for the open grill. There are cheaper options, but this one will last a really long time, Blatchman Gentile says. Let's say you want to make four grilled cheeses for your family. You'll get a consistent result, instead of the first two looking good and the next two not. Some presses have hot spots, but the heat is generally very even over all the plates, as well. Number 2. Hamilton Beach Panini Press Gourmet Sandwich Maker This Hamilton Beach model was a favorite among readers in a previous version of this story, with more than 14,000 reviews on Amazon and a 4.6 star rating. Many buyers point out its accessible price point and simplicity, the latter of which was immediately apparent when I tested it out myself. When you plug it in, it turns on automatically. There are no switches and no exact temperature control, but it heats up very quickly, so if you want to unplug between grill sessions, as I did when a group of friends and I spent an evening making and eating panini, there's hardly any wait time between rounds. Every time I've used it to make a sandwich, the bread has turned out evenly toasted and golden brown. The cheese melts perfectly, too, regardless of how stuffed the sandwich was and what type I used. The plates wipe down easily with a damp cloth or paper towel, even when bits of frico appear stuck onto the grill surface. And its relatively small size makes it less of an imposition to store it than some other models on this list. Number 3. Wearing Large Italian Style Panini Grill If you want to go hard at home, this wearing is a professional-grade grill, quite similar to the one head chef Claire Malfitano uses at Murray's Cheese Bar in York. There, the presses are even more intense and require special plugs, but Waring makes models for home use, too, including this one, and a nearly identical model with grooved plates. Like the press above, it's made from cast iron. It's not cheap by any means, but if for whatever reason you want to do most of your cooking on a panini press, say, if you're remodeling, or living with particularly inefficient rental kitchen appliances, it'd be the one to choose. It's so consistent in terms of heat, Malfitano says. It's intuitive to use. Before we open for the day, we do prep work on it that isn't making sandwiches like charring meatballs or onions or carrots. 
Sometimes we use it to temper things we don't need to fully melt, like cream cheese or butter. You can put it on a low setting and put those on there. We cook chicken on it. Occasionally, we cook eggs on it. It stays open if you need it to, so it can be hands-free. Before switching cooking methods at Archistratus, Lipari was also a fan of how extremely versatile it was, beyond the really crispy panini sandwiches it turned out. Vegetables on it got almost barbecue-like with a charred flavor, she says. We had people do pop-ups, and they would employ it in other ways too, like one time, someone used it to make a cheese crisp. Steven Sadoff, owner of York City's Ground Support, praises Waring's customer service. If you have any sort of issue, you get to talk to real people, he says. That's rare and important to me. But he also notes that for a regular consumer, a problem would be a rarity. If you're not running a cafe with it, it'll last forever, he says.